Hello, welcome to the President's Update for July. Yes, we're open. Start with our year in review. It was so therapeutic to see all the wonderful things we did before we shuddered and our world changed. So uh, listen to this sometime. It's about four minutes long. I also really appreciate the NSCC Proud presence that we had online. You can see people here from the campaign, as well as groups of people like our business office and dental excellence, and of course, Colin in the Ride Along program. The foundation has been working hard. Without a green carpet, they've run an electronic campaign and raised an amazing 60 thousand dollars. Well done, Robin and team. I also enjoyed so much seeing and being able to talk to people in a safe way at our summer lunch, and we've gathered some video from that and we'll share a little later. We are in our summer camps right now. Discovering STEM is this week. Dave is in class with our engaging our future learners and here we are doing some uh, biology DNA work. Katie and the team brought in, we have new regulations on Title IX. It will be the board's professional development at the retreat. So there were over 40 people at the training uh, this past week and another group taking a second day of training. So I really say thank you for taking the time out. I did learn a lot. We are doing the uh, remote operations as well as our new, you know, by appointment and walk-ins. Here's an admissions Q&A, talking to a few students, making sure they're getting into the college. And if you haven't done so yet, look at our virtual tour. That's a must in today's shopping world, the digital college virtual tour. Uh, Jim Bellamy and the team did a great job. Also for our marketing materials from Jim, here is NSCC, My Community College. I think our theme is your community college. We're gonna use those words off and on. So here's one, two, and three. You'll see these in different uh, billboards and other places. Summer enrollment news up in both headcounts and FTE now. Understandably, some of this is lost FTE and headcount from shuttering, and particularly in our uh, agency enrollment, but well done, team. In terms of the fiscal news, I'd like to be transparent about our finances and where we are. If you look at FY1920 total, uh, we have spent about $24.1 million, and we currently have in revenue, including an SSI cut, we still have 24.3 million. So right now we are at 158,000 to the good, and we expect to end this fiscal year with a positive balance. The NSCC board meeting did quite a few things, but the most important was passing our 2021 budget. So I did want to share that with you. And you can see the 20 budget, 20 projected, and 21 proposed. So our 20 projected for revenue right around 23.9. Uh, we're looking at a 21 proposed budget of 24.1. That's under the original budget before we shuttered. If you look at our projected expenses, even though they're at 24.3 million, we'll come in under that uh, pretty clearly. And again, our budget at 24.1. If you have any questions about that, talk to your supervisor, vice president, or come see me. Public health news, and this is a large part of today's update. So if you look at Ohio hospital admissions by the markers, Mother's Day, our state reopening, Memorial Day, Father's Day, and now the fourth, hospitalizations, which indicates community spread, have each started a spike back up right after we've gathered. I don't know about you, but I certainly expanded my connection of people each of those holidays. And so this is not unexpected. This is what I think you know, we knew was going to happen. So that we do see it going up. 
the governor in response, particularly to hot spots in Cleveland and Columbus and Cincinnati, uh, has now created a public health advisory system with four levels. And this explains the four levels. And if you look at the local area cases, and this was fresh off of my public health phone call today, you this is uh, a, what's called a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven counties, all but Van Wert for us, and uh, clearly shows uh, three or four of the counties going up in cases. So if you look at our area, Williams, Fulton, Defiance, Henry, Paulding, Van Wert, knowing that we also pull students from Lucas Wood, Putnam, uh, and occasionally Allen, uh, we really are in a pretty good shape. And if you look at our NSCC Fall 2020 plans, we're following this advisory system with our three colors. The state has four on how we do things. So that advisory system is also our roadmap. And I expect the governor to talk even more about that in his upcoming video uh, this week, his upcoming news conference. Key dates for us is that we are open. We are opening more. Uh, July 6th marks the day that we're open to walk-ins. August 1st will be increased student traffic getting ready. August 19th, first day of class. So we could go from 40 to 100 people in our uh, college to 1,000 people in our college come late August. So we're learning how to do this. Our key rules are that we are returning to the workplace. I think the new rules are, yes, come back to work. Talk to your supervisor. You may not have to uh, do as much work in the office as you did before, but please come back. Um, the, the exceptions are with your supervisor or HR. Uh, we do want to have those honest conversations for people that are vulnerable, at risk, maybe a health condition, and you know that's all done confidentially. We are continuing our screening at entry. Uh, we are requiring face coverings uh, going into the future, including the fall. We're continuing our strong hygiene regimen and our distancing of six feet. So face coverings and keep six feet apart. This is part of our fall 2020 plans. Uh, clearly with an uptick, we need to keep it going. For future events, NSCC summer camps. And uh, so glad to see the Discovering STEM clamp and we have some future ones coming. We also announced that with the oppressive heat that we are a cool zone, and so if you see uh, visitors in our building, uh, maybe in the library or in the atrium, that is about us providing a cool zone for our local residents. We have a blood drive coming August 5th. And I do wanna close with, I see good things ahead. I know it's a hard time and sometimes a very scary time. So much uncertainty, so much back and forth in the news, behaviors to the, to the fringes and the edges. Um, we're doing well. And I'm really proud of what you've done, really proud of how we've reached out to our learners, our community. And I do see good things ahead for us here at Northwest State Community College. Thank you.